Hello YouTube. I showed you all my other dowel reinforced bow. This one, I tapered it nicely, so it actually forms almost a nice kabza for a Turkish style bow, which I'm going to attempt to make with this one. I've softened up the end of this pipe, and I'm going to now insert it, if possible, the rest of the way. Hmm. walking that fine line between being flexible enough to insert it and too flexible to be inserted. We need to focus right here on this area. So we don't want the area behind it to buckle. That's exactly what's happening now as I attempt to insert it. All right, let's try again. I always try and do this with a rotating motion. I find that makes it easier. Great. Look at that. Now let's place it nice and flat on the surface. Fantastic. I'm going to make sure this side's flat. The other side will need to be flattened out. But that's good. That's very, very good. Super. So as you can see now, the bump is towards the front. It may not need very much of, I was planning on putting a little bit of epoxy on it to build up the kabza, but this is almost perfect as it is. So I'm gonna work and shape the rest of the bow and we'll just see what turns out. But thanks for watching. This has been a lot of fun. I've got another one. Both of them were four inches overall. This one was tapered more heavily from the, the uh, belly of the bow, no, the back of the bow to the belly. This one is just rounded and blunted. The other one that I showed before was more like an 8 inch length where the center was not inserted. It was only inserted 2 or 3 inches on each side. This will be completely inserted. So I'm going to try one completely inserted like this, the one that you just saw, and then that experiment over there which is exposed, making the overall bow length longer. All of them should be interesting experiments. And I'm looking very, very forward to trying and making some cool bows out of them. Super duper. Well, again, thanks for watching YouTube.